Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Look what I have here. This is the Kelf 3D virtual reality camera. Look at this. Crazy. And this one can record VR 180 videos in 6K with 50 frames per second. That's a very professional camera. Look at this. It has the two fish eye cameras. You can also see the preview here. Yeah, that's cool. And I will show you the functions, uh, what you can set up, uh, how you can use it, and of course, how it, uh, you can watch it in virtual reality. This project is uh, going to Kickstarter. I will put the link in the description below if you want to support it. Yeah, and as always, thank you to my sponsors, Virtuos VR, Open Events, and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, and here is our camera. Look at this. So we have this caps here on the lenses. Yeah, we can uh, remove them here. Here's the power on switch. Here's the shutter button. Yeah. We can mount it on every side. Yeah. Here is the battery. Some, sometimes a little bit tricky. Yeah, that's a, just a standard Panasonic battery. Uh, sorry, it's a Canon. Yeah, it's Canon battery. And here is the SD card. Uh, just a big SD card. Close it again. Yeah, here is uh, nothing, only vent. And here is the USB port. You have three USB ports and one microphone port. One is for charging here. The, and yeah, here of course is the display. And when you want to um, yeah, switch it on, hold this button for five seconds. And here we go, calf. It doesn't take long to boot up. And here we go. You see the preview, yeah, of course, uh, the two lenses here. Yeah, and it's very easy, the menu. You can uh, either use the touch image here, the touch screen. Yeah. Here you can go everywhere. And here you can enter the menu. You can enter the menu with this button or with the touch screen. Here's the album button. You can uh, check out what you recorded. Yeah, and then here, let's check out the menu. We have the camera mode. We can change between video, live stream, and picture. Then here's the resolution. I changed that to VR 180, 6K, 50 frames per second. Then we have image style. Uh, you can choose uh, some different options for your image. <clears throat> then uh, the codec with the quality, live stream settings, Network, you can go for Wi Fi, or there is also an adapter um, for a wired network inside the package. And here are some general settings uh, yeah, language, LCD brightness, microphone volume, and you can also upgrade the firmware here. Uh, that's nice. So that's it. That's very easy. And if you want to record, just hit that button. Yeah, and then now it's recording. It's flashing like a uh, blue and yeah as you can see it's recording now you should put that on a tripod and then yeah it's better then stop it with another push of the shutter button and now the um, file is on your SD card and then you can watch it with a, a VR headset that's really nice okay guys and now if you record it your VR video you have your SD card and you want to watch it somewhere if you didn't live stream it or so with this, it does also work. Uh, so what you can do is go to, of course, you have to copy it to your PC or uh, any laptop or so. And then you can upload that to YouTube in the VR180 format, of course. YouTube has to recognize that to show it in side by side. And then when you have that on YouTube, you can, of course, uh, watch that link somewhere on your headset. For example, the Quest 2, go to the YouTube app and then uh, search for the video and then you can watch it. But if you don't want to watch it online, 
if you want to have it local on your headset then of course copy the file not to YouTube but to the VR headset for example to the Quest 2. So use a USB cable to copy it to your um, Quest 2. Uh, remember the folder where you copied that and what I use on the Quest 2 is the so-called Skybox player. Now, with this Skybox player you can uh, you can uh, play local VR180 files, for example, from, from this camera, and then you can watch it. Yeah? So there are many other VR players for any headset. So if you want to tell me your favorite VR player where you watch 3D movies, I can put it in the description below so everybody um, can try that. But uh, I gave you some examples for the Quest 2, so YouTube or Skybox players, uh, Skybox player, and then you can go. So that's a very cool. So I recorded a test video with the Kelf camera. I will put the link in the description below and then you can download that and do whatever you want with that. Watch it somewhere or, or so. And uh, yeah, that's a nice example. So check out the link in the description below. Yeah, that's uh, very interesting. Okay, guys. And uh, yeah, that's it for the Kelf camera. So I really love this camera. It's very professional. Yeah, and it's but it's very easy to handle. I mean, you have just a touch screen with not many options, which I f uh, find very good. Or you can use the the up, down, left, right buttons here. It's very it's like a very easy camera, but it can record 6K 50 frames per second in VR 180, and that's really awesome. Um, but guys, you you don't want to take it with you and record something like that. Put it on a tripod or somewhere where it stands still, otherwise it doesn't work. And also, you don't want to carry it uh, around. It's very heavy. It's really very heavy. You won't, you won't uh, see that here, it, it, but it, believe me, it's very heavy. Uh, it's holding it like, like this here for one minute, uh, I, I, I don't think <laughs> uh, you can uh, hold it very still there. So. Um, but it's really nice and very intuitive, very high quality and also if you use your own microphone it's, it's just great. Um, so I will put the link to the Kickstarter in the description below. The price of the early bird special is $1,500 and now you would say oh my god that's very expensive. Uh, it's a high price but there are also other VR professional cameras that are much more expensive. So. Uh, consider if you want to record very professional uh, VR videos, this is a nice camera and it works really good. And also I love that you can mount it on every side and that it has the um, standard batteries from Canon. You can buy them and take them with you. The battery life is around two, uh, one to two, one and a half hour, uh, hours I would say. And then you can ch uh, change it. It's nice. So all you need uh, is in the description below. I really love this camera and yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!